Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Okay, so um, it has progressed about 20, no, how many days? 19 days, something like that. I moved the timeline forward to get a bunch of mechs fixed. Now I've done, gone and done some uh, repairs to the mechs. Let's have a look at the mech base here. Okay, so the second Mad Dog that we picked up. Um, so let's have a look at this guy. These things run super hot, so I managed to just kind of load them out a little differently. Added an extra ton of uh, ATM ammo just so that we've got a little bit more rounds to fire. Kept the two ER mediums, um, and that's pretty much it. Drop a wash wash. You know what we forgot to do is put stuff up here. That's what I forgot to do. Okay, we do have some stuff we can add to this guy, so let's see what we got here. Um, let's give him the rangefinder. Let's give him... Tracker sensors, sure, why not? Um, actually, you know what? Let's give them the missile range. Let's give them some more range for these missiles here. And then we've got Rainmaker. We're doing really well with heat, I think, generally. 8492, so we don't need the Rainmaker in there. Um, Artemis is not going to work don't have the weight could add a bonus to the energy but um, let's go with the, the clan improved fire control system called shop modifier bonus all that stuff all the good stuff yeah we'll go that route all right let's confirm that um, so yeah it almost identically matches this one it's got two ATM 12s uh, two ER um, medium lasers so you know they, they should work fairly well together uh, along with the exterminator and maybe the catapult or the meal near one of the two um, so we got a kind of a good lower end heavy lance that we could take for our lighter missions um, and what else did I, do? I didn't really do any changes to any other mechs with the exception of the atlas so the atlas I pulled off the three ER PPCs in the LRM 20 um, and the uh, the PPC capacitor so I pulled those out. I'm going to show you what this. The other one was like, like it was a fairly, fairly hot Mac. This one won't be as bad, I don't think. But I don't think it's as powerful, if that makes any sense, as the other one. But let's have a look at them. So people have been calling for me to use the heavy PPCs, so I have. Um, but I wanted to use the improved heavy Gauss rifle as well, which is like 20 tons. So I, I don't know if this, I mean this guy. I don't think is going to be hitting very hard. But with the amount of armor, I put the advanced fire control system in with the uh, breaching shot cockpit so we can fire on multiple enemies with all three weapons um, and do breaching shots with each one. Now this will do 130 damage with the breaching shot, so that's kind of nice. We got three tons of heavy gauss ammo in there, so that's going to work out. Case to protect this side, uh, mostly because of the exchanger, but, you know, no big deal. Um... Put a rangefinder in here and tracker sensors in here just to give them a bonus to hit. My, the only issue with this thing, oh yeah, by the way, I lowered the engine slightly from a 340 to a 300 uh, just to save some weight. And then I put a uh, supercharger in here so we can get some speed out of this guy to get in a little closer. Now it's going to be generating more heat per turn and we're not really that heat friendly right now. Uh, but the issue with this guy is that you know, because he's running a little hot, these weapons also have a lot of recoil. Like they got PPCs, got these heavy PPCs have a recoil at 3. Yeah, so I don't have much in a way to mitigate that. I don't really have anything I could use up here to do that with, unfortunately. Um, and the heavy Gauss rifle's got a recoil it too. So, you know, our pilot will be able to mitigate a little bit of that, but we're going to be taking uh, recoil losses here. Uh, I also have uh, only a regular AMS, so it's only able to drop that in, but I dropped that into the arm here with uh, one ton of ammo. Um, Nova CEWS, so it should remain hidden at range. But yeah, we'll have to see how this guy works out today, too, because I want to take him into a, into a mission today. There's a lot of good stuff we can be taking on today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take the hardest one first. So let's go to the command center and contracts. we got all our pilots back. So let's have a look here. We're going to take this coupe mission here first, um, and we're going to go full salvage on it. We're doing okay for financial report, unless we get totally wrecked here. Um, then we'll be in trouble, but we still, we still have another land so we can take or even do a couple more missions before the end of the month with the sheer number of mechs we have in the pilots, so let's accept this. And I think we're going to go... Um, let's bring the Atlas. 
Let's take you out. Rhino back here. Mockingbird in her typical black cat. Giant can come out. Let's get Griff in and six pack. Now, Rhino, um, what do I want to run here? I want to try out the Atlas. So let's bring in that with six pack just to see how that works. Yorman Gundyr's got the pair of arrow launchers in the LRMs. Um, yeah, and then we just go to the Dire. Well, the Dire Wolf's got two Gosses and two ER Larges for pinpoint and really good chances to hit. So, um, I mean, we could go with the double rack Orion. I don't know what they're going to have. Maybe we leave the Yormi out and bring the Orion in. Nah, I think we're good here. Although we could go with a entirely 100 ton 100 ton lance, go with all 400 tonners. Because um, we haven't done that yet. We have not done that yet. So, let's move the Atlas to here. And because, we, I'm only doing this because we've never, we haven't played a full 100 ton lance yet. So let's do that. 400 tons. It's going to cost us oh, only 235,000 to drop. That's not bad. So let's drop this down. I'm, the only reason why I'm putting Mar Mockingbird in the Atlas is I want their, her uh, her grand accuracy on the weapons here. So let's do this. All right. Move forward. Oh, might as well put us right in the valley, eh, guys? That's just wonderful. I'm here in a vehicle. That's probably a good sign. So we're going to wreck face on anything that's in here. Um, up, pirates got beef. That's fine. We got beyond beef. You guys ever, have you guys tried that yet? The beyond beef stuff? It's like a, a pea based uh, protein burger. My god, it tastes so good. The thing I like about it the most, I mean, it kind of tastes like a regular burger. But the thing I like about it the most is that you don't get that heavy feeling in your stomach after you eat like a, a, a brick of meat. Standing by. Heading out. Tried it at, yeah, we tried it at, oh my god, a Raptor. We tried it at ANW on the weekend. It's actually pretty good. What else we got back here? Spectre. Oh my god. I got the difficulty cranked up too, so... Oh, great, a cargo truck. A Baron. Okay, I've never seen that before. Oh, that looked like an awesome. But I could be wrong. It could be an Atlas. Is it the Red Baron? I don't know. We'll find out. Another cargo truck. Good thing they brought the big boys with them, eh? <laughs> oh, God. Let's just freaking wreck face. Let's wreck face. What else do we got back here? Kraken, okay. Galleon and a Megas. Megasaur. Um, three submachine gun arrays and a boomstick. 100 tons. He 482 damage. This guy has to die now. Fire at him, please. Do as much damage as possible, please. That's a whole lot of nothing. It's okay. We'll be we'll be putting his ass on the ground in a minute here. I was going to target those 15 tons with the arrows, but get them off the map board. But no, this guy's got to go down hard. Nice try. So that's a Highlander. All right. Waiting for order. I don't know how far this guy can move, so we got to hit him. Um, thirty percent chance, huh? Look at that, guys. Heavy PPC damage at that range is what? How much is that? 
I can't read that. Was it, does that say five? It says five. Well, they both hit. Apparently for 12 each. Let's see if we can fuck up this Kraken first. Like, I don't want to sprint up there. Just move over here. Um, yeah, Griffman. This guy fired, right? He certainly did. You certainly did fire, didn't you, you little turkey? Oh, he's got 65, so 80, 78. Can't take his head off. So let's just shoot him. Let's just shoot him and apply a little bit of damage. Okay, so they're heavies. We're gonna do a lot of legwork for them here. We know what we need on this guy. We need Narc for sure. And a little bit of fast game. Let's see if we can get this guy's legs off. Only got five rounds, but it's definitely worth on worth it on this guy. Enjoy those minefields, buddy. <coughs> Excuse me. He goes on twenty six. What the stink? Boom, 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 boom. Um, what did it even took ninety six? Did you see that? The minefield said ninety six. So he's pretty much out of the match for now. This stinker's got to go, though. He took 120 damage from the minefield. Why he's going up there, I don't know. He's not getting out of there. Probably to apply the... You know what? He's applying his... Um, that was a mortar, I think. He's applying the... Um, the uh, What's it called? ECM. That's what he's doing. Trying to shield this guy there a little bit. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> They're fast though. I'll give them that. They are fast. So I don't think I want to use the arrows on that guy back there. Those minefields are huge. If that guy tries to run forward, he's going to take a lot of damage. And if he does, we'll just drop another minefield down over there. So I think this Kraken is the next target. Our AMSs will definitely handle that. I don't know what this guy is all about, though. The Megas, I have no idea what he's got. Um, let's rock around here. Rock around the clock on this guy. Fire everything, please. Uh-huh. Christ, the AMSs are working overtime today. That's a really great chance to hit. We're going to Warlord it just to give us a bit better chance. I'm more improved, more interested in the Heavy Gods hitting. Yeah, not a fan. Wish I had kept the PPCs. They were hitting for 80 each. They will, you know, it would have been 40 for each shot there. Alright, firing. Time to drop a bomb. Time to drop a bomb. We're going to multi-target this one. We're going to fire on you. And you. And I want to keep you over there. So B is going to take fast gam. A is going to take... Nope. A. 
uh, is going to take Inferno. Actually, if we go with the regular ammo, we might be able to kill those trucks that are nearby. Well, unlikely. They're not doing much damage. Let's hit them with Inferno. Let's warm them up a bit. Uh, these guys are going to stay on A. This is going to stay on A. Yeah, let's do this. Because now those vehicles will take damage from the fire while they're over there. I want to see these guys move. I want to see how much damage these guys take. This guy took 120 in the legs, apparently. Like, this guy took a crap ton in his legs. Wish I could see what that raptor's got left. So now he should take a bunch, too. But we won't be able to know. He can't do anything. Yeah, the arrow fast scan, man. Totally worth it. That guy's completely tied up back there. Don't knock me down. That was a miss. A couple of arrow rounds should take care of these trucks. Where's the other one? He's right here. He's in the flames. That's bullshit. He should have lost his legs by now. If it was seriously taking that much damage, he should have lost his legs. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, he can't do anything. He's screwed. He's stuck there. Just making me mad, buddy. Just making me mad. Yeah, that guy's super warm. Super warm. Nicely shot. Warning. Armor low. Okay, let's apply some crazy ass damage to this guy's head because we might be able to take it off if we get lucky here nope unstable though unstable I'm stable you're going down Ditch the rack too, buddy. Go with the five. That's all I gotta say. Commander? Ordinance received. Crab, please. Oh, 130. Say, there we go. Now he's a completely unstable and has no armor left. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. All right, um, Spectre, let's go with normal ammo. It might kill the truck. Let's just fire. Nah. Oh, I should have checked this. I can't remember if we have swarm ammo on that thing or not. That's a lot of missiles. So this guy's in fire now. Truck, I don't think he'll... If he drives through the fire, he'll take some damage. This guy's almost in the minefield. Yeah, see, he's taking damage already. And I didn't hit him. 
That's not a bad move. However, you, you, you do know you only weigh 35 tons, right? You, you, you do know that, right? Because, you know, that's, that's not a good move for a 35 tonner at this point. Yeah, he took 75 damage in the legs. Not exactly sure why he's staying back there, though. Like, if that was me at that point, you have no choice but to sprint into combat. Or just be the guy that's going to stand there and, and die, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Well, these are pirates too, so I guess I can't expect that much from them. Like, as in a, like if they were, if they had all like eighty to one hundred ton mechs here, this would have been a much different battle. And if this guy rushed in the first turn, I don't think we could have taken him down by the time he got close to us. I would have had to hit him point blank with the two arrows in the face to destabilize him and then knock his ass over, and then hopefully get a headshot on him. That that's about all we could do, I think. Or rip off one of his legs, but he's got so much armor, like so much damage reduction on him. I don't know if we would we would have been able to pull his leg off. Boom. Waiting for orders. Spectre, maybe. I don't know. That's the 15 ton cargo truck. Well. Look at the damage on this thing though. God damn it. Copy that, Commander. Going for the pot shot. Shut that guy up for now. Frag the vehicle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Moving out. Let's hit this guy. I'm going to leave the ATMs off for now. We'll just hit him with the ACs. We're going to destabilize him. Yeah. What's up, boss? Can you put that guy's ass on the ground, please? We're going to multi. Uh, I'm going to hit these guys. I'm going to hit this guy. And I'm going to hit this guy. And, <clears throat> excuse me, those are going to A. These two go to B. And the narcs will go to C. Just to keep a narc on the guy. I copy. Did we get the vehicle? I think we did. That should put him on the ground. Keep a ping on that guy. Now, Griff. Can we get a direct line of sight on that guy? We can. Okay, good. I was worried we weren't going to be able to get a direct line of sight on this guy. Yeah, I think we can clear his head. Let's clear his head. I think so. Do we get it? No. We did get a head hit, but I think it was with the large laser. Yeah. You know what's good for you. Run the hell away, buddy. Look at this. This freaking laser's taking it out. Well, not at all of it. That's a lot of missiles. With no accuracy. Has he got MRMs? Wish I knew what he had. I'll have to get closer to him and find out. Thank you for showing up. You definitely don't have the right stuff. Let's see what this guy does now. Going through the minefield. Another 60 damage. He's interesting me in some melting armor. Can you, uh, confirm this warlord and hammer the shit out of this guy, please? Should have gone for a headshot, but... Commander. 
Okay, this is a multi again. Um, a, B, and C. C gets uh, these guys. And do I have Swarm? No, I just have Narc. Uh, a gets the fast cam, and B gets a fast cam. Everybody gets a fast cam. Well, these two guys do. We should be able to pull his legs off when he moves. See if we can chase this guy away. Well, we can kill him instead. Uh, can we not see the Highlander? Oh, we came from back here. We're gonna have to go through the fire, but that's okay. Because we got Warlord. See if we can take his head clean off. Uh, let's not overdo it. I'm only gonna fire two. Nope. That should be three pilot wounds? Down to two now. So it's not. Um, I'm there. <sighs> Look at this thing. Finish it up. Screw it. I don't want him getting back up again. Enemy Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so those guns work really, really well when the enemy goes down. So as long as we can destabilize the enemy first and put his ass on the ground, the heavy gauss rifle and those PPCs will just wreck them. Yeah, you can't move, guy. He knows he can't move. Like his legs are almost gone over here. Well, not really. That's almost 200 damage, and that's still a fair bit of damage over there, too. Damage minimal. Like he's down two-thirds there, so he's probably down to about 75 or so, 80 maybe. That's significant. Especially if he's going to move towards us, he's still going to take a crap ton of... Oh, he went right through the minefield. Did he take any damage, though? Like, I don't even know. Hasn't gone away, it's still there. Hasn't moved anywhere. Whole 16 points. Hooray! Rolling. Come on, Griff. Can't see the other leg, huh? Alright, well, that's fine. Good shooting, though. Um, how does that work? It must have been mis... I don't know, maybe it was miscalculating the damage? I, I have no idea how that works. Whatever. Whatever! Hmm. Oof. That's a multi. Let's do it. Aye, aye. There we go. That's a kill. Yeah, he took significant damage on his legs, eh? Um. Yeah, let's just, um... Let's just shoot him. Well, might as well warlord it, because we got it. Better chance to hit. Ooh. Tango down. Sure is. Yes, Commander. I like to say this was a relatively fair match, but it really wasn't. Coordinates received. Really wasn't. There you go. All right, let's see what junk we get out of this. Mission successful. That was just relatively easy because of our heavy armor. I mean, 
If we had our normal lance, it would might have been a little trickier, but I wasn't so so worried because most of these guys have maxed armor. Like we got our arm is a little bit damaged here, but not much really. It's gonna cost a lot to repair it, obviously, but not much we can really do about that. Okay, um, well we can get a raptor. Think we should get a raptor? That's advanced technology, isn't it? Uh, pirate ER mediums would be great if we were somebody else. Um, Let's see here. Potter Rotary 2. Combat Shield. That's a possibility. XL Engine. Guardian ECM. Heavy Leg Actuator. More melee damage. Well. Where's Megasaur when you need her? Um, spiked Leg Boots. Mask. Eh. Patchwork Materials right now are about the only thing I can see here that are worthwhile. Spike Fist. Retractable Blade. QS. Eh. Take a pair of patchworks. I'm gonna take the half ton. I know seven fives are great, but this stuff will fit perfectly in the legs. And if you're working on a hundred ton mech, it's nice to just drop these in the legs. So I'm gonna grab the half tonners. They're just the more they're just more versatile. The extra quarter ton really doesn't give us much. Alright, let's do that. Alright, Spectre piece, and we got the heavy leg actuator. Hooray! And a bunch of garbage. All right, nice. Yeah, two hundred seven thousand. So I mean, what we what we made paid for that. So that's okay. That actually works out all right. Twenty one days. I'm more concerned with the amount of time it's going to take to repair. Kerberos is still out for forty two days, but it's at the bottom of the list. I don't want to even consider having it use up a bay right now. You are me, Direwolf. So we're back in eight days. The main lance. Oh, this Mad Dog needs to move up. Sorry. Let's move you up to. Uh, there and go yeah this route so this guy's back in eight this guy's back in seven this guy's back in seven the atlas is back in eight so in eight days we're back back up and running again okay cool because I want to get let's just go one day ahead nice uh, now that we've got our mad dog back we're gonna take a, a really uh, harder mission I think we're gonna do that in a second I have to actually eat dinner for, for you, it'll be like one quick edit, but for me, it's going to be like an hour or so, so I'll be back in a few minutes. And I'm back. All right, so let's get into another mission here. Just watched an episode of Black Mirror, the one with Miley Cyrus. is actually really, really good, strangely enough. Um, another coupe mission, eh? Uh, one of the goals, I think, is to try and get our rep up with the Federated Sons, because we're going to head over... Um, a couple of people had, had uh, suggested we go to fight Comstar, and that's what we're going to do. But we want to do it along the uh, Comstar Federated Suns border, so getting our rep up with them will give us higher missions. Uh, but right now, I don't think we really need to do that bit, but we're going to take something with a good amount of sea bills here. Hostile insertion, local government, heavy lance. Let's go after this one. Let's negotiate this. And I think we're going to go... We need the sea bills. I mean, 1.4. Let's go this route. Just in case there's something good. Guaranteeing us a million sea bills if we sell... St well... It really depends on what they have. Like, there's very few times when we actually make a million sea bills. Well, let's just do it this way. What the heck? All right. Bring in the second lance. And we're going to go with... Uh, where are you here? Hannibal? Mm, Joopy? Nope. Sorry. Uh, uh, where am I going here? Judge here. Is she still... No, Gaucho. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Losing my mind here. All right, we're good. So let's go with, let's go with the Orion. Actually, no, we talked about, let's bring the Mjolnir because it does have the uh, AMS. And let's go, let's go this route. Get a bunch of mad dogs and exterminated down here against the four skull mission. I think this should be fine. Let's do this. Command interface initiated. All right, let's do this. Trees. Trees. 
Uh, yeah, let's just get up here. Let's close the gap between us and them. I don't keep our heat down. These things seem so woefully under power with the two ER mediums and the ATM 12s, but I don't know. Those ATM 12s with HEM, although they're actually quite good, so. Alright. Well, we got reinforcements. I'm hearing some vehicles move. Alright, what do we got here? Galahad? Javelin, a poo heavy tank. Um, I'm not going to waste my ATMs this this early. Commander. Moving out. What do you need? Let's not waste the ATMs. I'm picking up a new sensor yep. trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. That's I right. ain't going to be around for long. At least our lance is fast, that's for sure. Waiting on you, Commander. It's weird. This is the front and this is the side. It's just a matter of like a like one degree separation here almost. But yeah, let's uh -huh. just do this. That's not bad chances to hit. He's got two light Gauss rifles, eh? Ooh, three hits and a tag. Nice. What else we got back here? Fulcrum. Arrow. Got to get that guy. A Jager mech. And Javelin. Okay. Pretty good matchup, I think. Depending on how quickly we can kill these guys, I might do another mission today. Although, this my machine's been sitting here for like an hour and a half, humming away, so uh, with the game up, so it might be a bit sluggish at this point. But we'll see how it goes. Ended up watching an episode of Black Mirror. I think it, I think it said Season 5, Episode 3. I've never, never seen Black Mirror before, but it's the one with Miley Cyrus in it, and my god, that thing was funny. The first half is like seems pretty slow as they set everything up, and then when it gets to the second half and like right to the end, um, you know, sort of the, the climax of the show, it's absolutely hilarious, I gotta say. Really well done. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of uh, Miley Cyrus as an actor, for sure. Um, yeah. Well, he's handling it pretty well, apparently. We gotta get that Arrow 4 vehicle though. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Yeah. I mean, we could try and close and hit it with, uh. Probably gonna have to do that. Let's spread out. We gotta spread out. Copy that. Spread out so the arrow doesn't get us all. Alright, let's target you. And you. Not so great chances to hit, but we're going to take them. Oh, one hit. Nice. i to say the performance of my second lance is actually pretty good. They're pretty darn reliable when it comes to, to uh, damaging enemies. I think we're going to sprint. We're going to move up into here. Going turbo. I really hope we are uh, out of range of the other body, everybody else there. Ooh, what's he down to here? 68, okay. Roger that. Firing on target. Well, you were a champion last yeah, turn, not so much this turn. Somebody's coming in for a suicide run. Uh, 
I wish we could decide who we who the uh, the AMS would fire against. Cause I'd love to be able to just use it against the arrow system. Trying to retaliate over there. All right, so I think our uh, I think Judge over here should probably easily be able to handle this guy, the Poe, and uh, Javelin. Not necessarily easily, but should be able to handle. Once she closes, gets the H E M O up and running, these guys are going to be in a lot of trouble. Of course, you have. Yeah, CRAMS was gone at that point, right? Yeah, well. Yep. Got it. Okay. Uh, we can't multi. Got to fire on this guy. We got to get rid of this guy. You can multi though. All right. Ah, nice one hit. Yeah. Commander. On my way. Oof. Someone's gonna take a face full of ATMs, and I know you're your uh, your bulwark there, but I don't care. Reporting critical hit. Yep. Now, can we get our PPCs? Let's vigilance, because I'm gonna be sprinting. Uh, can we get our PPCs in direct line of sight of that arrow? No, we cannot. Got to split up enough, though. Yeah, we're on fire. It's fine. That's just fine. Time to die. This thing is really heat efficient. See what I mean? Like, I wish I could just reserve those. Come on, arrow boy. Roll up. I dare ya. I dare ya. They didn't have the if we could kill that arrow vehicle early, um we would have all gone off to the left here, but um uh, since we couldn't we're all kind of spread out now. I think this guy's got an AC-10, if I'm not mistaken. Po-X. LB-10X. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I hear ya. Cannibal. The cannibal. The arrow-killing monster. See ya. Oh, no, really? How much armor does this thing have? A lot of freaking armor. Orders? Okay, you got to kill these guys and get back and give us a hand. Moving out. Not sure where this guy's planning on going, but he ain't going very far. Target's taking a critical hit. Pretty much neutralized over there. Um, I don't think we can get a direct line of sight on that arrow. On the move, full speed. But a little less, but we're going to take it. Uh, have we warlord this? I think so. 
Let's go Warlord on this guy. I don't know if we're going to go after the Poe here. Or what we're going to do. Or sorry, the uh, Fulcrum, I mean. I think we leave. I don't know. What do you need? Oh, we don't have enough. Ah. Minefields over here, eh? Possible heat. Oh, you took a minefield hit. Oh, that's why. 50, 48, 30. That's probably a little better if we go to 30. Um, can we get both of these guys? Oh, yeah, we can. Copy that. Yeah, I know we're going to take minefield damage. Not much we could do about that. Um, how much armor does this thing have? 135. Yeah, if we hit that side, though, we could easily destroy this thing. Let's get him out of play. Let's get him out of play here. No, not quite enough. Strip the shit out of his armor, though. Alright. Let's see what kind of game these guys want to play. Thanks for showing up, buddy. This guy's almost done. He's like shredded. Yeah, you're done next turn, buddy. This guy, though, on the other hand, he's got a shit ton of uh, armor. Ugh. Don't, don't say things like that. See, see what happens when you say things like that? I'm trying to make you unstable. I really hope they drop an arrow system on him. On her, sorry. My armor's melting off. Yeah, I know. You got the arrow coming in here in a second too, probably. That arrow vehicle's got to go down next turn. We got the exterminator and the Mjolnir on it next turn. Hopefully the exterminator goes first. I don't want to waste three PPC so shots on it. I want to go with the ATMs with HE ammo first. Strip as much armor off that thing as I can. If we have really good chances to hit, I'll do a... Um, a uh, called shot. That guy didn't even move. What the hell? What's up with that? It's got a lock on me. Uh oh, maybe you're getting the arrow. <sighs> Saving the AMS to the uh, arrow to last. Oh, he hit his own guy. I'm okay with that. Question is, did you drop him? Oh, I don't think he dropped a minefield. You know what we need to do. Yeah. Okay, we got the HE up. Uh, I don't have... That's fine, just hammer. I only got six of them. So how are we doing now? Front's almost gone, okay. I'm under heavy fire here. Yeah, I saw that. What's up, boss? Oh, the ATMs are at a range for this guy. 
32. That's HE though. 57. Let's multi. U and U. Ooh, I had no idea if that was going to work or not. I'm here. Can't multi target, we got to just fire. Um, normal ammo, here we go. Shit, not enough. Got past the armor. He did, but he didn't get enough of it. Yeah, damn it. Good to go. Ooh. Okay, so you'll be going first probably next turn. This guy's not gone yet. Um, if I don't fire everything though, we're going to miss this front probably. Tell me what to do. Oh my god, you just seriously didn't hit three on the side when you're shooting it from the front. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They gotta fix that targeting. We're shooting at it from the front and we got three side hits. Are you kidding me? He should take damage. 51, okay. God damn it. Oh, they don't like me at all. I don't like any of us. Right into the minefield. Come on. Minefield damage, please. 39. Okay. Oh, shit. That got through my armor, Commander. I know. Because you're not shooting what you're supposed to be shooting. That's why. Commander. Girl. God damn it. Really? Sorry, I'm trying not to say god damn it. I was requested to try and lay off the, uh, Good to go. the curse words. I apologize, but... It's just such a convenient thing to say. Um, screw you. One more for the scrap heap. Thank you. It's caused enough damage already. I think I had a lot of armor, man. That, we were really sh shitey at killing him. Okay, Hannibal. Waiting for orders. Um. Got it. This guy needs to go. Roger that. Thank you. Move her down. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Then there was five. Six, I mean. Five. Five, right? Yeah, five. I thought this guy was theirs. Running right back into the minefield. Ow. Is this guy got two rack fives? Okay, that was bad. He's got two rack fives. I should have looked at what he had. Damn it. Well, he's getting a load of ATMs in the back here in a second anyway. Ready for orders. We've got somebody over here causing problems for your friends. Do you think you could help us out? I 
doing good. I think you did too. Position confirmed. Wreck them. Never turn your back to a pair of vultures. ATMs are fun, definitely. In medium range, medium, uh, sorry, uh, medium to heavy uh, mech builds, they're definitely, you know, pretty devastating, I'd say. But you get into assault mechs and it's, it's you know, not so much. Unless you can, like, spam the crap out of them, which is hard to do because of their weight. But if you could spam the crap out of them, they would pretty be pretty devastating against assaults too, especially from the side or the back. I'm kind of liking them on these heavy buildouts. Like, the, basically, we're relying on the ATMs to 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 uh, do all our damage for us on the vultures. I mean, we really haven't faced any heavy competition for these guys. Why is he just sitting there? We haven't faced any heavy competition for these vultures yet. I mean, this is a pretty good match, I would say. I mean, it's not amazingly aye, aye. tough, but it's a pretty good match out. Now, let's not go that way. Let's start getting these guys over here. This guy's got the LB-10X. Let's hammer this guy. That guy back there is not doing anything. He's just hiding. Um, wow, we got a little torso problem here, eh? Um... HE is the same, so let's just run with the HE. Nice. Good to go. Let's uh, finish up this vehicle if we can, please. Position. Couple HEs. Let's do it. Uh, not quite. Solid connection on that one. Half his armor's gone, though, pretty much. Apologize for the noise outside. I got uh, two windows open because they have to be open. Because um, it's so hot up here. On my way. And like I said, my mic is not the best mic. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting a new one. Um, just got to get around to getting it. Affirmative. So it's picking up everything. Ooh. See ya. That, uh, what's this guy again? A Galahad. He better get himself into the battle pretty soon. It's, it's already too late, though. Already too late. Moving to position. I want to ATM this guy. Or not ATM him. I want to ATM him, but do I want to, uh, HEM or I want to save this? I think I want to save it. Let's just save it for the other guy. Ah, it's kind of a good thing. Good idea I saved it. Yeah, baby! 30 damage from the fire. My armor's Let's get fired up. There. I'm ready for orders. It'll be nice if they can work on the, the AI pathing. So they don't go through fire and stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. Because, you know, it helps me out, but... That doesn't help them out in any way. HE this guy. See what I mean? Look at all the 10s. That was a side hit. We probably would pull his arm or his leg off. What is it with Goss rifles and in inaccuracy? Standing by. Acknowledged. Let's HE this guy. Firing. See what I mean? Just burrow straight through the side. Leg, torso, arm. Goodbye. Good. Commander? Bye. I can't go down that way. I gotta go this way. Printing. We gotta remember not to go through the minefields. Minefield, minefield. Yeah. My, 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 my minefields. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Nicely done. Vehicle frag. Mission successful. 
Well, with the exception of the Jagermack and that aero vehicle, they didn't really stand much chance. Now, I, I heard someone say they, we took a crit. But what was it? Don't see anything. Well, someone said that shot went internal, but I don't see any internal damage here at all. Um, yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, Galahad, I don't know. Don't really want any mech pieces. Any advanced? There's an arrow four. We got the arrow off that guy. Now, let's see what, what his rack fives to. But well, we got two of them already, so we don't need them. Um, ECM is feral. This is all inner sphere stuff, so it's not really worth. Powered sensors, range sensors. Eh. 10% range is nice, though, but don't really need it. The regular arrow four, fast cam ammo. Now, how much fast cam ammo do we have? And how many regular would you have? Two. Um. Let's go that route, because I think I want to drop another ton of fast game into the uh, Yeoman Gundir. I think we'll pull, pull they got Swarm here too. Ah, we got two of these, so we're okay. Uh, I want to pull out a um, one of the uh, Inferno rounds out of the uh, Yeoman Gundir and put in the uh, fast game, I think, after that last match. Alright, tons of Javelin parts, Jager mech part, Galahad parts, Light Goss rifle, and stuff we can sell. All right, two hundred thirty-one thousand repairs. Meh. Twenty-four days, huh? Well, we're gonna be jumping shortly, so I'm not worried about this. Now, I think we got enough time to pull off one more. We've only got two more available pilots. Let's have a look at the contracts. Um, the one in the side, smugglers assassinate mission. Um, ambush convoy. Let's go this route. Um, yeah, let's make them pay for us. Do it this way, this way. Let's go this way. Sure. Everybody's tired, except for Eagle and Giant. And this mech is not tired, and neither is this one. So let's bring these guys in and have some fun. Oh, good. Couldn't be any other map, eh? Oh, <laughs> Christ. Oh. Okay, girls, let's do this. Come on. I'll try. I know you can do it. So I've been thinking about uh, what this scenario is going to be for the next uh, uh, season. And I've been... I, I want to do something a little differently. Uh, we're still going to do Clan Start. It's still going to be two um, games running side by side. Yeah, it's okay. He's a javelin. Raven... All right. Um, so two games running side by side, and we're going to do clan starts for both. And I and I think the idea is going to be um, we're an advanced group um, ahead of the clan uh, invasion, sent in to do sabotaging and stuff before the clans arrive. Um, and what I'm planning on doing is getting rid of all of the. Uh, pilots at the start starting off with maximum cash maximum difficulty and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, let's reserve we are going to um, before the uh, um, series even gets started we're going to um, launch ourselves into the inner sphere all the way along the clan road and we're going to start off more or less in the inner sphere. Um, and the idea will be... This is a Myrmidon, eh? What's this guy? Missile carrier? Uh, the idea will be that we... Um, 
like I said, are set ahead. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Multi-target. Uh, B, B. B. Yeah. Um. Oh shit, I bet you jammed. Oh, I forgot to crank it up, that's why. <sighs> See, trying to do two things at once. I can't talk and fight at the same time. Anyway, um... So we're going to have to be very, very careful with our um, clan mechs at the start. Most of them, most likely for the trip, will have to be mothballed. Um, and the reason being is that we're not going to be able to make it to where we have to go with our funds if we... Oh my god. If we don't mothball them. So most likely the, the mechs will be mothballed. We're going to have inexperienced pilots. And... Uh, so what will probably end up happening over time... What's this guy? Shadowhawk. Okay. Uh, what will end up happening over time is uh, while we're fighting the inner sphere, it's the uh, age-old thing where we kind of um, developing develop a liking for the inner sphere and then end up fighting on their side maybe when the clans arrive. Okay. So we'll have a little bit better start. Oh my god, you missed with everything. Simply because... Um, We'll have clan gear to start, but as we begin to lose it, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult to get any of it back. So we're going to have to be very, very frugal and take our missions very, very carefully. So that's my thought anyway. Oh, man. Can you wind those racks up to full speed this time, please, and thank you. I don't know why I'm getting mad at you. I should just be mad at myself, but... You are the pilot, after all. So, B, C. I want to get rid of these missile carriers. Thank you. We'll know soon enough if we're going to have reinforcements. Ooh, not quite enough. Yeah, man. You guys should probably turn around. I'm just saying. I guess that guy couldn't because the raven was probably blocking, blocking the road there. Don't let him get away. Where did we penetrate? We don't know. Stand in the fire. Enjoy the heat. Mm hmm. Losing armor. Yeah, we all are. Hey. Um. Oh, we can get them both from here. Let's do this. No idea what this guy's got, though. Oh, his side is almost toast. Alright, we're going to multi. You, you, I have no idea what's going on with you. And then let's put a tag on this guy. So tag's going to C. A, 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 B, B, B. Sure. Engaging multiple enemies. Let's make sure we get it. All right, that guy's done. Oh, for Christ's sake. What's up with you with the PPCs? Okay, we got a tag on that guy. Good. Good, good, good. Two vehicles down. You just keep going that way. Just keep going. Not much of a tiger. More like a kitten, man. Oh, his AC-10 was jammed, that's why. Do you think he can kill this guy? I don't know how much armor he's got. Not a whole lot. Enjoy that heat, girl. Heh. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're lucky I have to kill vehicles this turn. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I really kind of have to. Okay, let's go. Everything on this guy, please. All right, one more to go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I'm ready for orders. Let's get over here, please. Ah, shoot. Both racks are jammed. Wow. Yes. Oh, we ain't going anywhere. This guy's pissed me off. Hope both racks got unjammed. Because that Shadowhawk's going to be deserving of a double rack attack. Double rack attack! He's got a lot of lasers, eh? He sure does. Uh, I think the Shadowhawk needs to be taught the... Uh, we only got one rotary up, really? You were going to teach him a lesson, and now he can't, because he doesn't... Uh, it's so sad. Let's just teach the Raven a lesson. He's still shut down. Target's taken a critical hit. Well, at least the other rack's unjammed. Twenty percent damage reduction. Up, no. You might be a giant. No, we need we need to see the other guy. The Raven. So let's sprint over here. Christ, we gotta be in the open, eh? Alright, well, let's do that. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Apologize. You did. Your ECM's his ECM was bugging the hell out of me, so we had to get rid of him. I can't forget about the Jenner down here either. You're lucky that was a kick, because if you shot me from behind, I'd be really angry. Well, oh, you got a flamer too, really? Commander, I'm here. He's all yours, girl. Wants to attack you from behind? We play the back game. Okay. Remember, you wanted this. For orders. Can you hear? Moving can you hear the sound of the rocks whirling up? Now, if that Jenner was smart, he'd head for the evac zone. Because he just watched that guy get completely shredded. And then he came around the corner to find he's got nobody left. It's a sad day. It's a very sad day. I mean, not for me, but for him it's a sad day. Can you not even see? Oh, you can see him from up here. There you go. Think you can kill him? There you go. Good thing they were lightly armored. Mission successful. Nothing like making a cool one mil sea bills. That's awesome. Got seven with the Federated Sons. That's awesome. Good kills. They spread out really well. It was really whoever's going to shoot first most of the time. All right, we got one item: mortar eights, um, tag, Bebo probe, Bebo Bebo probe. Um. That's worth 2.25 million. Mine is 60% heat generated from weapons fire. I mean, we can't use it on a mech, obviously, but still. That's a good sell, anyway. 
Missile, plus one missile accuracy. 25% chance for critical hit. This might be actually better for the vultures. Increasing the crit chance to hit. Increased range. Minimum range goes down. Not that it matters. Any good ammo down here? Not really. So let's do that. Let's take that missile fire control. So I was going to take the sea bills, but I think we can use that on a vulture. All right, medium pulse, comm suite, missile. Oh, well, we got a couple things we could possibly use. All right, there it is, 114,000. So that's, eh, let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Okay, so what do we want? We want to have our main lance back by the time we get there. So let's bring up the direwolf. We're going to get serious when we get there. So direwolf's coming up. Uh, the black cat can stay at the top. Um... Misery and the Ker Kerberos I'm not really worried about. Atlas can come back in a day. So let's get these guys up a little higher. Let's... Um, do I want to leave the Orion up there? I think I do. Let's get the Atlas in. Uh, Exterminator up. This Mad Dog can come down. We can get all those guys back. How do we want to get these guys into play now? I think the Mjolnir should probably come up. Maybe we bring it in. Um, do we want to get it in the bay after the black hat? That'll be 23 days. This will be 12 and 12. King Crab and Yorman Gundir, 18. Yeah, that's fine. 18, 22 days for the Mad Dog to come back. And what did we were saying here? 23 days to have this. Meal near the black hat. Okay, so yeah, so 23 days is our jump. And then we won't, we won't have the misery in the Kerberos anymore. Well, they won't be... The misery will start of, start being repaired. Um, it's got less days. Well, you know what? Let's do it this way. Well, no, we haven't used the misery yet, so let's bring it up. Kerberos, I might actually just retire. As much as I like it. We've used it. We've had fun with it. I think it might be time to just to retire it. Um, plus it likes to it likes to absorb lots of damage as we can always tell it's probably mostly mostly due to user error though um, <laughs> yeah so that being said the next episode we're going to jump towards uh, Comstar I'm going to make a long jump that's why I wanted to get the extra sea bills we're going to sell off a bunch of stuff here between episodes we should make a couple of mil off what we, what we made in the past couple of episodes uh, the junk that's sitting in our base sell all that off we'll it's been a 23-day jump, or more, probably. It took 30 days to get here. It might take 30 days to get to Comstar. That's fine. We'll get there before the end, of, before the next financial report. Have most of our mechs back. Our pilots will be back. We'll be ready to go. And we'll take on some Comstar missions. Hopefully, it's a little bit more difficult. We've been having fun with uh, the missions here, but I think it's going to get a lot tougher once we jump. So I'm, I'm actually hoping that. I got my fingers crossed. I got the difficulty crack, cranked up to the top. So let's hope... That, that is actually going to be in play when we get in face Comstar. All right, I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.